All right, traders, here we go. Watch this video for Monday, June 18th. Uh, on Friday, you can see the SPY gap down. This is the daily chart uh, sold off, but ended up closing back near its high. So in my opinion, uh, despite the gap down, fears of trade wars and everything else, um, the market's still really strong and trading's been fantastic. Uh, before I get into the list for Monday, uh, a few highlights just to continue the theme of showing you guys what goes on in our chat room because I know um, not all chat rooms are the same and we're very adamant about making sure that our trade ideas are put out based on uh, methods and setups and everything that we teach in our in our trading course not just that but uh, also that they are called ahead of time all right so I know there's rooms out there and I'm not that you know that's fine however you want to run a room but I know there's rooms out there that people uh, say, oh, by the way, everyone, I just took XYZ or I just took VSTM or I just, and then everyone else uh, tries to pile in because the moderator took it. Um, to me, first of all, you're not learning anything. And second of all, um, you're getting, uh, you're 100% of the time, you're going to get a worse fill than the person running the room, right? The person you're trying to mirror. Mirror trading, uh, very, very tough to pull off. And even if you make money mirroring somebody just because they said they bought it and then you bought, you bought it. Um, you know, if you're not learning why they took it, you're still never going to be able to support yourself from trading. So it's just some things to think about. But here's an example. VSTM um, gapped up after an offering, by the way, uh, gapped up and sold off on that opening five minute candle. Wayne called it in the first five minutes. Said, hey, I like this over the high. 605 was a high, nice seller there. Um, we also saw another big seller at 610. But through that, there was really no resistance. And you know the red to green on a morning gap play can be pretty powerful, and you can see what happened here from 606, pretty quickly to 660. All right, um, that's a nice little way to start your day, and certainly nice heads up uh, by Wayne. Uh, let me bring in another one, TPIV. Uh, just another uh, was on the overnight list. You can see the resistance. I'm showing you five minute candles here, but recent resistance right here, right around 870. Um, and it was coiling like this. Jane brought it to the attention of the room uh, before it came up here, right? And, and I saw Jane's post, hey, TPIV's in a pretty narrow range. Mike, it's on the overnight list and so on. Looked at level two, there was a seller at 70. A break of the previous day's high would have been 71. So I called it over 70, um, but might not have seen it if it wasn't for Jane's heads up. So the call was uh, TPIV 871. You know, worst case stop, um, I think it was 20 cents below 850, something like that, 851. So a 20 cents risk, this thing ended up going up to 1070 um, during the day. So, you know, that's uh, basically $2 a share move on 20 cents risk. That's, you know, well, like 10R and on uh, a $2 move on an $8.71 basis is uh, a fantastic um, percentage gain in a very short period of time. I also would be remiss if I didn't share H-U-Y-A, which Gulam in our chat room uh, pointed out, hey, I like this back through 46. Now, I can't scroll over, um, but right there, I, he mentioned it here. Wayne saw Gulam's post and looked at it and said, hey, guys, you know, he passed it along over the mic. I agree with Gulam. I like this through 46, and look what happens. It breaks 46. You had a couple catalysts above. Every trade I take or call, I try to have you know, dominoes ready to fall on the chart. Otherwise, I don't take the entry. And that, you know, that's basically born out of uh, when I first started trading, taking a trade and being immediately read on the trade and then thinking, oh, crud, dude, now what do I do? Do I buy more to, to, to you know, to, to make my average better and so on? Um, so I always thought there could be a better way. And that's uh, basically what our trading course and everything I do was born out of. I always thought if I could be green right away after taking an entry, because of the chart and stacked catalysts and so on, recent performance on the chart, um, you know, it takes a lot of the other problems out. It's a fun problem to have when you're green right away and you're just trying to figure out how to sell, right? And uh, I always try to scale out of trades too. So the 46 break here, you had another catalyst, which would have been a break of the early high right there. It meandered for a few minutes and then just ripped. And H-U-Y wave, H-U-Y-A, uh, again, Wayne put the idea out over the mic, but admitted he would have never even seen it if it wasn't for Gulam. So I, I'm just bragging on the teamwork in there because it is the best group of uh, teamwork you'll ever see in a chat room. Uh, this thing went up $4.81 a share from that 4601 entry. It went to 5082 uh, on about 50 cents risk. You had to give these things a little bit um, you know, wider stop. But you can see right after the entry, it never was even read for a second. I'm just 
another great example of teamwork. So um, here's the spy again. I'm going to go into the watches for tomorrow. Speaking of VSTM, um, we're basically kind of breaking out to new recent highs. So we're going to watch that one again on uh, on Monday. TPIV also just uh, a massive day and topped out at 1070. If you look to the left the other day, it hit 1091. So back through 1070, you might take out 1091 and just rip through 11. Uh, in the video going into Friday, I liked this, you know, much more than I do now because it's extended. Uh, if you watch the video that I put out for Friday, I think I said it might take out uh, Thursday's high and then maybe rip through nine where, you know, that uh, resistance it had back here from a few days before that. That was exactly what it did, right? Just uh, a massive move. So now it's more extended, but I still want to watch it um, because it closed so strong. Dry ships uh, was a little extended too. You kind of ahead of the moving average away from them, but now you got an inside day. I think DRYS deserves to be watched on Monday. VIVE, nice little extra volume spike and a pretty strong move. Bounced his head on the 200 day. We'll see if it can get a follow through on Monday. NDRA, again, also a little bit of extra volume. Closing fairly strong. Um, does have some topping tails on the chart, but uh, a decent close on Friday. So we'll see if that one gives a setup. DEST, inside day. So again, if it breaks Friday's high, which would be over 4, 537, sorry. Then you have Thursday's high, 547 as another possible catalyst above. So yes, this one is extended away from the moving averages, but I love the fact that it gapped down on Friday after the close, strong close on Thursday and ended up closing strong and above Thursday's close. So it's still uh, still worth a shot if it gives a uh, you know a low risk setup for another long. ANY still coiling, was on watch going into Friday, never did uh, catch a trade or a setup in it, but still coiling. I, th I still think it's worth watching for a possible upside break out of that tight range. CODX, um, I don't know. This is kind of a weird chart, but it feels like it's definitely found support at four. Had this huge move back here. So shorts might just start to give up and you might get a big spike in this one sometime this week. And a couple more. IDT still coiling, still kind of flagging after this big pop a week and a half ago. And then ONTX, a sub dollar stock that had this pop back here, kind of flagging and a fairly strong close. Generally don't trade the sub dollar ones, but I'm going to keep my eyes on ONTX. Uh, that's all I, I've got. We're going to add some uh, pre-market gappers to this list. So there's plenty to watch. Um, look below this video. Uh, you should see a an, an offer um, for five years in our chat room at $100 a year, which I don't know that we've ever done that before. So you want to join an, a chat room of actual traders and a group of people that only look out for each other. Um, it's a great time to do it. I'm done babbling. See everybody on Monday.